Hi. Th thank you all for joining us at the High Line at the Rail Yards on such a beautiful day. Um, I first walked this section of the High Line almost 13 years ago. Robert and I had visited the southern parts many times, but we were never able to get past a tall steel fence at 30th Street. But one day, we found a burrow under the fence that some trespassers had dug. Laurie Isis, our guide from CSX, who's here with us today, gave us permission to slither underneath <laughs> through the gravel and bits of metal and glass, and we came through to this side, and we saw the rail yard section for the first time. It was only then that the full opportunity of the High Line became clear. We had the chance to create a mile and a half long walk, a true New York City journey, through three Manhattan neighborhoods with views to the Hudson River and the Midtown skyline, which people could stroll for 22 blocks without once crossing a city street. Today, as we break ground on the High Line at the rail yards, we prepare to make that journey possible for millions of people for years to come. Robert thanked the public officials who've made it possible, and we'd also like to thank the project's champions from the private sector. We're joined today by some of our top supporters from the campaign for the High Line. Barry Diller and Diane von Furstenberg, Donald Pels and Wendy Keyes, the Tiffany and Company Foundation, the Pershing Square Foundation, Douglas and Cherry Oliver, the Hanson Family and Avenues the World School, Elizabeth Belfer, and the Philip and Janice Levin Foundation, as well as by many others who've given us so much. We thank CSX Railroad for letting us access the site for over the years and for ultimately donating the High Line to the city. The brilliant design team of James Corner Field Operations, Diller Scafidio and Renfro, and Pete Udolf for creating such a spectacular park for us. And the related companies for helping us develop the mechanism f to save this part of the High Line and for providing the largest funding commitment for construction, as well as coach as, as well as Coach, for bringing its new global headquarters to Hudson Yards and for being such dedicated and generous corporate partners. We thank our board chair, John Allschuller, and all the members of our board who give so much energy and passion to support the High Line, and our staff at Friends of the High Line, including Vice President of Planning and Design, Peter Mullen, for sharing our dream of opening the entire High Line. And, and it's also personally very meaningful for me today to have my, my whole family here, Stephen and John and Roberta and Lisa and Ernie, thank you so much for being with me through this whole thing. Thanks to all these people, this site will soon be busy with construction. I hope you'll tell friends and neighbors about a unique opportunity to come up here one last time before the most active work begins to enjoy this incredible place the way we're enjoying it today. During the first two weeks of October, we'll open the High Line at the rail yards to the public, free of charge, thanks to the support of Uniqlo, another of our visionary private partners. You can sign up for those tours on our website beginning one week from today at www.thehighline.org. We're grateful to all of those people and to all of you for making this day possible. Thank you.